assalamu alaikum viewers and this is the part 3 of the lecture series about crystal field theory updated and summarized version and in this particular lecture we will compare the crystal field splitting for different geometries in the previous lecture we have discussed the octahedral crystal field splitting and uh, then we have discussed tetrahedral crystal field splitting so today we will discuss an other geometry which is called as tetragonal geometry and this is the splitting pattern for tetragonal geometry first of all we will focus on what is tetragonal geometry so in tetragonal geometry there are six ligands just like that of octahedral geometry but the difference is that in tetragonal geometry the z axis is elongated this bond length is elongated as compared to the xy bond lengths what it means that ligand through z axis are coming not so much close to the metal so if they are not coming so much close to the metal so the orbitals of metal that are uh, having z character in their orbital these orbitals will have uh, feel less repulsions and they will low in energy whereas as when the ligands on z axis are elongated so the xy ligands they will become more close to the uh, metal so they will exert more pressure on the xy orbitals so if we see here that these are the d orbitals dxy dyz dx z dx square y square and dz square so as dz uh, square uh, is along z axis and dxz is along z axis so these will uh, feel less repulsion similarly dyz orbital these will feel less repulsions and they will be low in energy whereas the orbitals such as dxy and dx square y square these uh, will be high in energy because the ligands are coming more close to the metal through these xy planes so they will feel more repulsions so they will be high in energy so if we see here in the crystal field separating uh, diagram for tetragonal geometry so dx square y square is highest whereas dz square is low as compared to dx square y square remember that in octahedral geometry as we have discussed previously both these orbitals were e at a same level similarly in octahedral geometry the dx y dy z and dx e all were of a same energy whereas in tetragonal geometry this has been replaced now as uh, the ligands are m coming more f uh, near to the metal through the xy plane as compared to the z plane so the xy will feel more repulsion so they will be go high in energy whereas dy z and dx z will be low in energy so this is a bit confusing uh, here um, but the question is here that how you will identify that a particular structure will be octahedral or it will be tetragonal so if there are six ligands and if in the complex four ligands are of one type and two ligands are of different type then that will geometry will definitely be a tetragonal geometry so in this way we will know that this will be a tetragonal geometry and we will do splitting just like this pattern so till now we have studied three geometries and it will be a good idea if we compare these three geometries uh, in a single diagram so again we repeat here that this is the uh, metal d orbital uh, which has been uh, as its uh, original place so when the ligands are approaching towards it then all feel forces of repulsion so they all go high in energy however if the geometry is tetrahedral then dxy dyz and dx will go high in energy whereas dx square y square and dz square will be low in energy and this separating is called as tetrahedral crystal field separating and if we see in octahedral geometry there is inversion that dxy dyz and dx z will become low in energy whereas dx square y square dz square they will go high in energy so this is the overall separating and this is splitting for octahedral geometry now latestly we have studied the geometry for tetragonal uh, uh, the splitting for tetragonal geometry so this is the tetragonal and uh, if we see here 
the tetragonal is just like derived from the octahedral geometry so the dx square y square and dz square which are at same level or they were degenerate at this level they are further separating so dx square y square is going high in energy whereas dz square is becoming low in energy similarly dx y dyz and dx c they were at same level they are now further losing its gen degeneracy and uh, the splitting further occurs in such a manner that the xy goes high in energy whereas the yz and the xc goes less in energy so the only reason is that tetragonal geometry has the axis elongated whereas octahedral geometry the all the ligands are uh, approaching to the metal with the same bond length so uh, this is the comparison diagram in which we are seeing clearly what is happening so one thing is clear that very less splitting has been occurring in tetrahedral geometry than slightly greater uh, 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 splitting has been occurring in the octahedral geometry whereas too much splitting has been occurring in the tetragonal geometry. Now we are adding an other geometry which is a square planar geometry and if we see clearly here that in square planar geometry there are four ligands and z axis ligands are absent now if z axis uh, ligands are absent so x y plane ligands will approach more towards the metal so what will happen that z character containing orbitals will feel less repulsions or least repulsion and they will go further low in energy whereas the orbitals which are in x y plane they will feel more repulsions and they will go more high in energy as compared to tetragonal geometry so if we compare this splitting pattern here in this diagram so if we see here that dx square y square is going high in energy whereas in the tetragonal geometry and uh, the dz square were at this place but now the dz square has been moved towards this third number in energy uh, whereas uh, at this place in tetragonal geometry there was dxy but now dxy has been placed upwards at second position uh, similarly dyz and dx as z axis uh, ligands are not coming at all so they will feel least repulsion and they will go lowest in energy so the separating pattern of square planar geometry is here and if we see here that this geometry has a difference that uh, in tetragonal geometry this place was occupied by dz square and this place was occupied by the xy but in square planar geometry this has been in inverted so this is the crystal field splitting diagram and splitting pattern for square planar geometry one important thing is that in square planar geometry this splitting enhances further like this arrow is going more wider so it will be a good idea to compare all the discussed common geometries of the coordination complexes like tetrahedral geometry octahedral geometry tetragonal geometry and square planar geometry in a single diagram so uh, this is the metal d orbital when no ligand is approaching this is the metal d orbital feeling repulsions they will all go high in energy uh, when the ligands are approaching but ligands still not made any bond with the metal here the splitting pattern has been displayed and this splitting pattern is for tetrahedral geometry as uh, we see here so dxy dyz and dxc which are in between the axes they will feel more repulsions they will go high in energy whereas dx square y square and dz square they will go low in energy because in tetrahedral geometry the ligands are coming in between the axis so the in between the axis orbitals will feel more repulsions uh, and they will go high energy whereas on the axis orbitals will feel less repulsion and they will go less uh, uh, low in energy so this is the uh, del t which is uh, lesser as compared to the uh, octahedral splitting so this is the octahedral splitting and in octahedral geometry the diagram has been splitted now dx square y square and dz square which are which are the of the axis orbitals they go high in energy because the ligands are coming also through the axis so these orbitals will feel more repulsion whereas dxy dyz and dxc they go low in energy because 
द इन बिटवीन द एक्सिस ऑर्बिटल्स फी लैस रिपल्शन दे बिकम लो एनर्जी बिकॉज द लिगेंट्स आर कमिंग थ्रू द एक्सिस सो दे आर नॉट कमिंग इन द पाथ वे ऑफ द these orbitals so they will feel less repulsion and less energy however the one difference between the tetrahedral and octahedral is that uh, the octahedral crystal field splitting is diff, uh, uh, not only inverted but it is also greater as compared to dalt now uh, tetragonal geometry we have seen that z axis has been elongated as a result of which the pressure on z axis will be less so z axis containing orbitals will feel less repulsion and they become low in energy so if we see here this is the octahedral but this degeneracy has been lost further in the tetragonal geometry and the x square y square orbital go high in energy whereas the z square orbital become low in energy similarly the x y y z and the x z which were at same level at octahedral geometry but now they further lose their degeneracy and the x y orbital will go in high energy whereas the y z and the x z will go low energy just because of the z axis elongated geometry now if we go to the other extreme like the tetragonal geometry is just an intermediate between the octahedral geometry and square planar geometry now in the uh, first step in tetragonal geometry the z axis has been elongated but if we completely remove this z axis ligands then we are coming towards that square planar geometry so if z axis has been completely eliminated so there will be no repulsions so that the orbitals which are containing the z character they will go for the low in energy so this is what is happening here in the splitting of square planar geometry but as the z axis has been completely absent so x y ligands will come more close approach so they will cause more repulsions on the d orbitals which are containing x and y character so that is the reason that in square planar geometry the x square y square go further high in energy but the z square is going so much low in energy that it has ultimately uh, become below as compared to the x y whereas the x y is going high in energy again because the ligands are approaching more from this axis similarly if we see here that the y z and the x z they are coming further low in energy because the z axis or um, uh, ligands are absent at all so this is the square planar uh, crystal field splitting parameter and if we see here that the greatest splitting of the d orbital has been taken place in the square planar geometry so this was the overall comparison uh, of the splitting orders or splitting patterns of d orbitals in different most common geometries of the coordination complexes which are tetrahedral octahedral tetragonal and square planar geometries in the next lecture we will see why this splitting is responsible for the stability of the complex as we have discussed in the first lecture the main postulates of the crystal field theory so this was all about today's lecture i hope you will understand if you have any question let me know in the comments i will respond as soon as possible okay thank you allah hafiz